Hey, lightweights, here's what you can expect from today's episode of Batman The Enemy Within. Thank you, Batman. You're welcome, Chip! 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 A madman from Gotham's past returned to terrorize my city. He drew me into his twisted game, striking at the things I hold most dear. But I survived his deadly traps. I emerged the victor. But the cost was too great. Lucius Fox is dead. Riddler is dead. And with him, the only lead I had to taking down the greatest danger Gotham has ever faced. And the person best equipped to help me is a threat to my deepest secret. The Riddler was going to be my way in once we captured him alive. But now I have you to lean on. A man who lives on both sides of the line and knows exactly when to cross it. Yes, you and I will be working together very closely. Bruce Wayne. First thing you need to know, I can keep your secret. And despite what you did, going behind my back to Mori, I will continue to keep it. No reports. Nothing. No one else needs to know. To deal with the present threat, though, I need both of you. The man inside and outside the mask. You have to understand, I'm not the enemy here. It may seem that way right now, but I'm not. Our problems are far too big for us to be bickering among ourselves. You don't have to tell me that. I know we're on the same side. I don't like how you do it, it, but I know it. I thought you might be harder to convince. When Riddler's friends hear he's dead, they ain't gonna just carry on carrying on. They might get sloppy. They might want revenge. Or they might simply accelerate their plans. I'm gonna need eyes everywhere in Gotham. A man like Bruce Wayne, with all his influence and resources, can go places Batman can't. You understand what I'm saying, don't you? Your public persona could be a great help to us here. Maybe even as much as Batman in certain situations. I know when to be Batman and when to be Bruce. It's the mask that fits best at the time. Tactical. Now you're speaking my language. What the oh. hell? Looks like the whole city's under attack. We've got a report of a raid on the Gotham PD arsenal. If those bastards get their hands on our weapons... This is coordinated. It's Riddler's gang. It has to be. We're gonna need Batman for this one. Agreed. Emergency services is already pushed to the limit. Well, then we'll have to redeploy patrol officers to defend the arsenal. Don't divert any men, Gordon. I can handle the arsenal call. <laughs> if only we had the Batmobile from... The Arkham games. That'd be Let's very move. helpful. This is what we train for. There's been an attack in the financial district. Biotech company on the west side is under siege. Ooh. That's a really long load screen. Came for. You don't need me. Well, you better hope oh, that's Chip. not true. 
outlive your usefulness and the boss will make a pretzel out of your neck. I don't know, 10 or 12 maybe? The really big one, he, he made me give him the keys to the armored transport vehicles. I didn't want to, I, I swear. It's okay, get out of here, now. Thank you, Batman. You're welcome, Chip. Hey, you about done? Yeah, yeah, just about. <sighs> At us. <laughs> Who are you? A nightmare. Bane. Much like yourself. But you can't call me Bane. Looks a little different in this version. Oh shit. <laughs> a man cannot win a war alone. You fight well, but you fight alone, you will die alone. See why Riddler wanted to be the one to kill you. Riddler is dead. He's dead, Not Riddler. You should be worrying about yourself. I promised my men a hell of a battle if ever I faced you, and I'd hate to disappoint. Oh, I haven't faced a true warrior since I left Peña Duro prison, and there. Oh, I should listen to that more. I kind of thought I'd let him finish talking before I did anything. This one is mine. Okay. Nothing to fear, my friend. Keep your eyes open. Don't 
Don't let anyone follow you to the warehouse. Don't worry, we'll be back with my guys. Safe travels, my friends. Chip! Be able to help more. But I like Gordon. I'm calling Gordon. Fuck it. Gordon knows this city better than anyone. The GCPD should be able to quickly find the stolen weapons, but Waller will feel disrespected for superseding her authority. Waller's people are well trained and equipped to deal with Bane's men and safely recover the weapons, but Gordon is bound to feel betrayed if I cut him out of the loop. Oh my fucking god. God. I think I need to go with Waller this time. The new music glitches back. Batman! <laughs> Batman! You here? Use your eyeballs, good sir. I am clearly buried. Over here. Batman? Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Hey, Harrison, I found- Where's Chip? Hey, hey, take it easy. We're here to help. We're going to have to unpin him. Batman, I'm gonna need your help to push this thing off you. One, two, three. That's it. Let's get you on your feet. Where is Chip? <clears throat> my, he's my new best friend. He can't be dead. The mechanic who was taken hostage. Where is he? He didn't make it. No! I'm sorry. Who the hell did this to you? Chip! He called himself Bane. His crew loaded the weapons onto the APCs and took them to a warehouse. He was my best friend! I really do appreciate you reaching out to me about this. Listen, you really need to pull yourself together because the threat we're facing is worse than I thought. While you were here, a gang of masked men hit a biotech manufacturer. Perf slipped right through our damn fingers. Every single one of them. Happens to the best of us. No, it doesn't. <laughs> There's no excuse for failure. Not even my own. At least she's just as hard on herself as she is on everybody else. <laughs> this Bane and the crew who hit the biotech lab must all be members of Riddler's gang. I need to get back to the Batcave. Figure out how this all fits together. As soon as my team finishes cleaning up that biotech facility, I'll share with you any intel we discover. It's a sign our new partnership is off to a good start. Corden's gonna be so pissed You're at us. You're on my team now, and I take good care of my people. I don't hey. want to betray Gordon, but oh, fuck. Your partner, Avesta. How is she? 
still in the hospital. The doctors say the hearing damage could be permanent. Damn it, it should have been me. I failed her. I put her in danger. It's my fault. The blame for what happened to Avesta rests with Riddler, not you. That's nice of you to say. Look, I owe it's you the truth. for saving my life back there. So I gotta warn you. You really should stay on Waller's good side for as long as you can. For everyone's sake. I'll tell Avesta you asked about her. So that was Go like a... Her. Prep the med bay. Don't fucking Go trust her. Meds. But make sure you're on her good side and use her and then cut her loose because she cannot be trusted clearly. That's what I took out of that. I wish I could just tell Gordon that. Like, listen, Gordon. Listen, buddy old pal. I don't trust Waller. I don't want to be friends with Waller, but I need to use Waller just like you do. So don't be pissed at me when I call her because I'm trying to play the end game. Bruce. I'm, I'm fine. You're not fine. Really? You big liar doo doo head. You are not fine, Bruce. Thank you. None of this is fine. You were nearly killed tonight. Those minutes of silence, waiting for you to respond, they were the worst of my life. But I didn't know if you were alive or dead, or if if I would ever see you again. Chip's so family will never see him, him again! You'll just do it again tomorrow? He saved our lives. We already lost Lucius. I couldn't bear losing you, too. Uh, uh, we... We can talk about all this later. Come on now. Let's get you patched up. So by Med Bay, he met Med Trey. As if he wasn't bad enough. Now Director Waller knows your identity. That information in her hands? Waller isn't the one we need to worry about. Bane is still on the loose with enough guns to arm a small militia. Oh, I... I understand. The man died for you tonight, Bruce. Tried to save you from that monstrosity. Too many have died. In too short a time. The cost of this war, it just continues to rise. Alfred, we will get through this. You know that, right? This storm will pass. Yes, I, I know that, Bruce, and I'm sorry for not being my resolute self. It's just this Bane is terrifying. We've he never is seen indeed. this kind of destructive power before. Waller was right about one thing. Riddler was just a small part of a larger threat. Let's begin with the dart I pulled from his neck. Oh, got it? <laughs> I'm good, thanks. Uh, Huh. There's still some toxin left in here. What kind of toxin? Something new. There's a whole series of powerful psychoactive meds in this cocktail. Drugs that are lethal when combined. Who could have come up with such a concoction? And did the same person pull the trigger? Bane's attack was one of three tonight. All at the same time. Let's bring him up. Get an assessment of the damage. Oh, we know who this is! Gothcorp Labs, Genetic Research Facility. Where do we even start with this? I don't know, maybe all the ice? I have no idea. Authorities can't determine what was even stolen until all of that melts. At least 20 dead, some completely encased in ice. The others were frozen solid. Some of their limbs shattered as they fled. Ugh. Oh. Waller's intel shows that the thieves made off with numerous pieces of equipment used in the storage and transportation of biological material. I don't even want to think what they'd want that for. 
No IDs on any suspects, though. Security cameras frozen. All witnesses dead. Gotham brokerage. Ten million in diamonds stolen. Some safety deposit boxes emptied. Contents unknown. Over a dozen dead, and even more wounded. Mostly by gunshot, though some victims had their heads smashed in. Oh, that's barbaric. Can't wait to see what Harley Quinn looks like in this. Witnesses place Harleen Quinzel at the scene, dressed up as a clown and wielding a mallet. Don't ask me. <laughs> Riddler's friends are as insane and gruesome as he was. Perhaps even more. Those same witnesses say that she acted alone. All that carnage. All by herself. Damn! Oh wow, we got a lot of info. Oh shit, okay. Gordon promised that what happened at the harbor won't change anything between us. I'm not so sure. Waller pinned the blame for the Riddler's death and the abduction of her agents on Gordon. She used it as an excuse to strip him, strip him of his position as police commissioner. Now she's taken over the GCPD. I can't help but wonder if I could have stopped it. Gordon trusts me, but I couldn't save his position. I won't forget that. Montoya is a valuable ally, and it means a lot to me to have an off officer of her caliber in my corner. I'm not sure how she feels about Bruce Wayne, however, especially after I want to question Maury. Deceased. Um... Okay, I never thought I'd see John's face again until he showed up at Lucius's funeral. Evidently, he listed me as his emergency contact when he was discharged from Arkham. Could he be stalking me? He wanted me to meet some of his new friends. I accepted his invitation. He was already making a scene at the funeral. I just wanted to keep him from flying off the handle. Something good did come out of the conversation. John gave me a solid lead on Riddler's location that pointed me to an abandoned water tower in Gotham's East End. Could John Doe and the Riddler really be connected? And if so, how? I think I already read that one. Tiffany Fox, Lucius's funeral didn't go well. Tiffany naturally had questions about her father's death, specifically if Riddler's contraption had anything to do with it. So I told her the truth. I owed her an honest explanation, but in this case, honesty was not the best policy. She blew up at me, threatening to dig deeper into what Lucius and I were doing. Maybe I should get in front of that. Yeah, probably. Agent Blake informed me his partner, Agent Avesta, is in the hospital, recovering from the traumatic hearing loss she shuffed Shefford at the hands of Riddler. I can't help but blame myself for her situation. I know that the circumstances weren't impossible. It was the lives of three agents or Avesta's hearing, but that doesn't excuse the part I played in changing her life. I mean, she told us she told us to, so there's also that. Waller confessed to knowing my true identity. This might prove to be dangerous, especially if I choose not to cooperate with her. She warned me to share with her all new information I uncover. I decided to follow up on her instructions to keep her in the loop by calling her after the attack on the GCPD arsenal. Hopefully this will keep me in her good graces long enough to decide how to handle this new complication. The Riddler ambushed agents Blake and Avesta at the docks, using them as bait for me in one of his sick games. In an attempt to save his partner, Agent Blank Agent Blake pleaded with me to lose in order to save Agent Avesta's life. I couldn't do that. Agent Blake narrowly survived his encounter with the Riddler, though I'm not sure if he'll forgive me for allowing his partner to lose her hearing in the process. Eli Napel. Eli remains in police custody and refuses to give up any information about the Riddler, his plans, or his allies. It's unclear if Eli stays silent out of loyalty or fear. The Riddler deceased. The Riddler ambushed Agent Avesta and her team at the docks in an elaborate trap. He forced me into playing one of his games in exchange for their lives. In the end, I managed to outsmart him, but at a heavy cost. Before we could bring him in for questioning, Riddler was mysteriously killed with a poison dart to the neck. All I have now is his cryptic last words. They broke the pact. But who are they, and why did they want him dead? I decided to pay Maury a visit at his casino, where he was being kept under the watchful eye of the agency. He admitted to selling Riddler the missiles that he had been using to target his enemies. In exchange for giving up Riddler's location, Maury demanded I pay for his escape out of the country. I refused to help Maury escape justice and took the intel on Riddler by force. I may have made an enemy of him, but he won't be up to hitting back anytime soon. 
I have to work with the agency now or risk Waller exposing my identity. With Riddler gone, their main target appears to be the group of international criminals he was the ringleader of. Uh, a new class of criminals has converged on Gotham. According to Waller, they're the best of their kind and the most dangerous. John Doe, the Riddler, Dr. Quinzel, how many of them are there? Riddler's plans to terrorize the city ended with his death, but his friends are far from finished. I'll need to deal with his new threat to Gotham and soon. It was a homing missile that caused the explosion at Wayne Tower. I should never have brought Riddler's puzzle into my office. I put my employees at risk. He might be able to rebuild the tower, but will never be able to fill the hole left in ranks by Lucius's loss. Gordon and I found where Riddler sleeps. He set up a hideout in an old water tower on the edge of Gotham's east end. Walking around that place was like taking a tour of Riddler's twisted psychology. He's methodical and obsessive in his sadism, using agents as guinea pigs to test out prototypes for his murder boxes. Designed to be giant escape room, Gordon and I almost didn't get out of there alive. Luckily, Gordon was instrumental in solving this riddle, his riddle, and we managed to escape together. I guess two heads really are better than one. Waller used her political clout to take over the GCPD. It's unclear how she'll use the power, but from what I've seen, she won't let police procedure get in her way. All right, and Gotham feed. Gotham citizens support GCPD Batman partnership. Despite some heavy criticism from elected officials, the Gotham City Police Department's public partnership with the masked vigilante known as Batman has been a rousing success with the city's population. Across the board, crime in the Gotham City limits has been down from previous year, with violent crimes hitting a record low. Though some of the city council have raised concerns about Batman's hidden identity and his operation outside the restrictions of the law, it doesn't appear to be hurting public opinion. I don't care who he is. I care that he makes things safer, said grocery store owner Wayne Barton, whose business had seen a 50... I already read that. I already read that. Guns? Money? Biotech? What are they planning? We won't know until we get to Bane. Okay, so I thought the I Riddler's gang was different. Offense, but you're in no shape to beat the information out of that monster. Or take on his friends, if it comes to it. We've already seen how formidable Bane is on his own. Taking on all of them? That would be suicide in your current condition. Of course I could use help, but both the GCPD and the agency are stretched thin. One thing's for sure, we can't just wait around for Bane to strike again. The death toll is already too high. You told Waller you knew when to be Batman and when to be Bruce. Riddler said his friends abandoned him at the Lady of Dublin. He alluded to the fact that John Doe was one of them. If that's the case, then John can get you close to the others. He already wants you to meet them. John Doe might be your best chance of getting inside, finding out what they're up to. You're right. John's my ticket in. If I play my cards right, John might tell me most of what I want to know. Uh, well, the less you have to mingle with his friends, the better I'll feel about all this. It'll be... Dangerous approaching Bane and his people this way. They'll be suspicious of anyone who isn't a proven criminal. You'll have to give the performance of a lifetime to pull the wool over their eyes. Bruce Wayne has influence, an endless bank account, and as of last year, questionable integrity. Everything a criminal network looks for in a new recruit. So that's it then. I find John Doe and accept his offer. I want to talk, but I don't want to cut them off. John, I'd like to take you up on your offer. Excellent news! Can we meet? No, just the place. The stacked deck. The stacked deck. That's where he is. I suppose you couldn't wait an hour or two while you rest. Not a chance. Anyways, I thought R the Riddler, when they were saying the Riddler's gang, I thought they meant like he had a different, like his gang of goons that helped him at the beginning of the first part. Um, Batman. I'm realizing now that that's not what they meant. They meant the group, but. I'll tell you about Batman. He's no hero. 
way I see it, it's just a bunch of hired muscle for rich guys. Guys like Bruce Wayne. <laughs> Billy, tell Bruce Wayne how that makes you feel. Uh, okay. It feels... Uh, no, really, he's on your right. It feels like crap, Wayne. Preach! And you're just a huge, colossal, gigantic, <laughs> spoiled piece of sh... Oh, uh, <laughs> I am... Uh, <laughs> I'm going to ignore what I heard. <laughs> no harm done. <laughs> you set me We up. don't need to make Nonsense. any more enemies. Bruce! Uh, uh, don't mind Willie. We're just messing with you. You look like you could use a drink. Beer drink. Bottles under my chair, Willie. Let the clown lead you to Bane, whatever it takes. Waller is everywhere! Holy shit! I, uh, I run a therapy circle here every second Sunday. Hey, it's almost like my streams! Not the therapy circle, These people second need Sunday. the expertise that I learned in Arkham. So... Know it all really got what was coming to him. Authorities are refusing to comment on the death of the mysterious criminal known as Guys, I did a cosplay photo shoot I? as the Riddler. Who am I? It turned You're out so good. I'm so excited to share it. That's who you are. <laughs> John, did you have anything to do with the Riddler's death? I mean, I hated the guy, but. Jeez, Bruce. You really think I'd be capable of cold-blooded murder? After everything you know about me, you really think I'd do that? No, 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 of course not. I mean, I know you hated him, but you're no killer. What was I thinking? Uh, I know what you were thinking. But hey, no harm done. That was not the right thing to say. Anyway... I, I should have said the one on the right to see side. You, Bruce. I'm guessing this is about that favor I asked. Look, before we get into that, I need to come clean. Riddler was more connected to my friends than I'd let on at the funeral. Riddler? Really? Yeah, he was kind of our leader, but he was just so bad at it and so intolerably annoying. <laughs> be out of the picture by the time you came around. I should have told you. I just, I didn't want you to think we were all like him. No secrets between us ever again. You have my word. Well, this is awkward. I pinky swear. <sighs> pinky swear. Friends for life. <laughs> so I wonder how Let's quickly the, 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 the Joker let him rises know we're on the ranks. Hey. Or if he does in this version. I'm out of medicine. I don't like your face. I think you're bothering my friend John. Okay, fine. You're right. I'll leave him be. Go away, Willie. What are you... Screw you! <gasps> Nobody <laughs> disrespects me! No one's making a fool out of Willie! Easy, Willie. I can give you money if you just leave John alone. A bribe? I can't be bought off that easy, Wayne. This cash can buy you a whole lot of medicine. Oh, well, when you put it that way. I'm helping his addiction, nice which is not good, man. but I'm stopping a knife fight, which is good. So worth it. Let's 
Let's get out of here. <laughs> Some more beer drink. <gasps> oh, cool. They're expecting you. I like how the back of his phone is like Bruce, this typical um, color uh, of the Joker. One, one more thing. You can't tell anyone this. This is big. It's huge. It's gonna be something stupid, isn't it? I think. I'm in love. It's it's an odd feeling. At first, I, I thought I had some kind of disease. I am so happy, John. You deserve the best. Yeah, I'd blush if I could. <laughs> so mysterious. You at least got to tell me your name. She'll, she'll, she'll want to introduce herself, but uh, if you could Please help me look good in front of her. I'd appreciate it. Come on. We shouldn't keep her waiting. The backstories for all these characters is confusing me because it's different. Almost got it. God damn it. I thought I had it. Here, uh, give me a hand with this, will you? I'm pretty sure this is how you get this thing started. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, look, you're doing it wrong. Red's the battery, yellow's the starter, spark one on the other. You are literally my hero, Bruce. I mean, wow. <laughs> so how do we know this? How are we gonna explain that one? Don't turn around. All right, Wayne. You got my attention. Give me one good reason why I don't redecorate the windshield with your noodle. I bet a smart guy like you has some real pretty brains. Real bright. Well, if you know who I am, then you probably know I'm more useful alive. That makes sense. Sense is so boring, though. What about money, power, and influence? They bore you too. No, those are fun. I'm just Josh and your rich boy. See, there wasn't even a bullet in the chamber. <laughs> Oops. She's definitely got a much different look in this. Let's put some music on. Bruce, this is the lady I was telling you about, Harley Quinn. <laughs> Isn't she a hoot? I knew you guys would hit it off. Sure, I can see the funny side. See, I told you, Bruce is a good sport. Quinn here says you're chomping at the bit to meet us. I want to get an idea why. What do you get out of rubbing shoulders with the likes of us? I want to run this town. Just like Falcone. Just like my father. We gotta play on the truth. A little bit it. of truth. Mix uh -huh. up the lie. Makes it sure. good. The playboy's trading his tux for a Tommy gun. Bruce has hidden depths, Harley. Like, really deep. When we were in Arkham, we got into all kinds of mischief. He showed me some of the darkness he's got inside. You don't forget something like that. Do us a favor, Pud. Skip over to that bodega and get me a slushy. Right now? <laughs> Need a buck? Nah, <laughs> I got it. Uh oh, shit. <laughs> What's she gonna do? Are we supposed to be able to see through these windows? Oh, John. He just doesn't know who he is yet. You know, he's searching. Highly impressionable. He thinks the world of you. So I asks myself, what's Bruce Wayne want with a lost soul like John? It's kind of a mismatch. Raises all kinds of questions. He has his uses. After all, he connected me to you. 
So you're a puppet master, huh? Poor old Puds, your marionette. <laughs> Maybe you and me are more alike than I thought. Okay, good. I was like, I was a little worried when I chose that. You got that look in your eye, the kind that says you're trouble. And I only like trouble when I'm the one causing it. You got a good reason why I should trust you? Because I sure as hell can't see one. Shit, I feel like I'm choosing the wrong After answers. After all, you're a squeaky clean favored son of Gotham. How am I supposed to believe you won't run to the cops the first chance you get? My father used to run crime in the city. It's in my blood. Fooey. My mama was a grocer. I don't give two craps about fruits. You think that's the same? Hmm. Don't matter. You'll show me soon enough if you got what it takes. Oh, gee, thanks, Wood. We gotta go. <laughs> I'm assuming he didn't pay for said slushy. What were you guys talking about? Your friend was just saying how he used you, Pud. Just to get to me. Ain't that right, Brucey? Ain't that the gist of it? It's the truth. I get it, Bruce. You used me. Because that's the kind of ruthless guy you are. God. <laughs> I'm so not choosing the right options for any of these. Oh my god. That is the best damn slushy ever. Suck on that. <laughs> I swear, it'll make your whole body shiver. Come on, put your lips on it. I ain't got cooties. Cross my heart. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I told ya. Okay, here's what's going to happen now, Mr. Moneybag. I was like, do I make him jealous or do I make her mad? You're Which is worse? Mama, a little present. From inside there. It'd be nice if I could see where there was. Wayne Enterprises. A little bird told me there's some pretty fancy hacking tech up there. Something called a phalanx key. Get it for me? I'll know you're on the level. Maybe your can't whole see shit. pin a Gotham shtick won't seem so absurd. And maybe, just maybe, I'll vouch for you with the others. What do you want with the phalanx key? Why wouldn't I want it? I hear this thing opens half the security systems in Gotham. And it's just sitting there, hidden in your lab, waiting for someone to put it to use. <laughs> What's the matter? You better not try nothing fishy. I don't want to have to splatter that pretty face. It's okay, face. Harley. Bruce and I already talked. He'll do whatever you want. Is that right? Will you do whatever I want? Will you jump when I say jump? Will you bring me the shiny things I asked for? Well, this is a complex task. There might be some bumps along the way. Nothing is guaranteed. Some things are. Like how fast I'll make you disappear if any of those bumps turn into trouble. Oh, honey, you can try. You're on, Brucey boy. Make yourself useful and get me that phalanx key. And hurry. Mama really wants to get herself some tacos when you're done. Got this, Bruce. I don't know how she doesn't get a brain freeze with how she's slurping that down. Uh, Mr. Wayne, uh, yeah, if you could please sign in well, on account of the attack. Mm -hmm. 
So, um, what brings you in? If you don't mind me asking. Is everything okay? Well, no risk for the weary. Uh, or for the wicked. Mm. You're all set, sir. <laughs> Awkward. I feel like Lucius's daughter's gonna be here. And that's gonna be a bad encounter. Really ought to rethink your hiring practices, Bruce. Your man's lying down on the job. What did you do to him? It, is he still alive? Don't worry. A little bop on the head never killed anyone. Going up, Brucey. You do know how an elevator works, don't you? Or do you usually get your servants to press the buttons? Oh my god. Good. Just let it slide. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't a very good guard anyway. I mean, isn't he supposed to keep people out? Maybe getting knocked out will teach him a lesson. You didn't have to do that. I didn't have to, but I did. Now pipe down or I'll go back and finish the job. Thought you were gonna wait in the car. Now Harley figured you'd want some company. Of course Unless she you did. Have to do this all by your lonesome. You don't have a problem with that, do you, Mr. Moneybags? Of course. Glad you could join me. Welcome to Wayne Enterprises. The only good news is that Waller knows who we are, so she can cover for us if need be. All this is yours, huh? Kind of blue. Our place has way more personality. I have to say, Bruce, it's exhilarating to walk these hallowed halls with you. This is where the wheeling and dealing happens, the power plays, the boardroom scuffles. I can feel all that toxic energy in the walls. You think I could run a place like this one day? Like you, Bruce? I think I'd get quite a kick out of being CEO. If you keep your head down, work really hard, yeah, why not? Oh yeah, you worked real hard. <laughs> you had a rich pops who stole everything not nailed down. Oh come on, Harley. Bruce's father works really hard at taking other people's money. You gotta give him credit for that. He did do that, that's true. <laughs> hey, hey, pull it together, puds. All that slushy you drink has got you. Well, this is awkward. <laughs> oh, Bruce, well, I'm surprised to see you. And these are... <clears throat> to whom do I owe the pleasure? I don't believe we've met. Uh, prospective clients. At this hour? It, well, they have to catch an early flight. I want to buy Wayne Enterprises. Bruce says he'll give me a generous deal. Oh. Well, no one ran this by me. That's because he's giving me your job. <laughs> Is this some kind of joke? Do I look funny to you? Oh, God. <laughs> the most awkward elevator ride ever. Like some kind of punchline or something. Excuse me? <laughs> you gonna let your employees sass me like that? Is this the kind of operation you run here? Your worker bees just mouth off whenever they want. Regina will apologize, won't you, Regina? I'm not gonna Bruce, lie. I, but that, I make it feel real. The fact that this is Regina makes I it easier. <laughs> to cause offense. Good. More. Make her beg. 
Please. I'm so... Uh, so very sorry. <laughs> Can we talk about John's muscles? You got into those clothes. We could carve out some alone time. Just you and little old me. Tempting, but I'm pretty sure that would be a bad idea. <laughs> yes, that would be a terrible idea. Bruce has a job to do. Remember? Shut your pie hole, will you, John? You gotta learn to live in the moment. I'm sorry. Just got some anger management issues to work out. Wait here, I'll be right back with you. Forget me. it, Brucey boy. Your secret lab ain't really a secret. Cobblepot's got quite a mouth on him. I don't think he ever shut it the whole time I was working at Blackgate Prison. He told me all sorts of interesting stuff. Say, do you like chess? Work your magic. Tick tock. I'd Watch be curious to know up. how she turned into Harley Quinn from Dr. Harley Quinzel because I thought in the comics she turned into this because she fell into that vat of acid or whatever that fucked her up. Tight squeeze. And she no, did that because of the I Joker. Think you two are the closest friends I've ever had. So I'd be curious to know her backstory in this because it, uh, how? <laughs> I present to you our secret lab. Lucius, you have seriously outdone yourself this time. <laughs> Glad you like it. Like it? Oh, no, this. This changes everything. It was getting a bit dodgy hiding all those batarangs in the Wayne Enterprise <laughs> R&D way. Thank you, Lucius. Come on. Now the real work starts. Hmm. Somehow I was expecting more. Where's the giant crater? I thought this was where your friend went out with a bang. That was his office upstairs. Better question. Where's the phalanx key? It should be in the vault. Well, what you waiting for, sweetie? Go get it. All right, let's make sure I can't interact with anything around, else around here. Doesn't seem like it. I just keep having to remind myself that Waller knows who we are. The lock protocol vault thumbprint required Lucius Fox. That's not right. Why the lockout? Someone's been in here. What's taking so long, Bruce? It's saying it won't open without Lucius's thumbprint. And that got blown up with the rest of him, didn't it? Oh, all the dumb luck. You're saying we can't get it open, then? Harley's not going to like that at all. Or you. L let me try to find latent prints around here with my scanner. Always thinking, this guy. Oh, goodness. Dinner to celebrate Tiffany's first day at Wayne Enterprises. Sorry you didn't make it there, Lucius. I remember when Tiffany brought that back from art class. <laughs> All right, that's a start. 
All right, so now we have to build it. Oops, shit. Tiffany built that rocket herself. Lucius was so proud. Getting there. There has to be lots of thumbprints on here. <laughs> One more partial print should do it. Hope he's not hurt too badly. Just a bunch of old reports. Need to remember to clean out some of this junk. Not a single usable print. Okay, well then what else can we scan? Printer panel? Probably a printer panel. I feel like you have to press buttons with that, but maybe Good not your thumb. Holding us up. Bitch! Do you see me working here? Nope. What? Not encouraging. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Come on, EMP generator! I guess it makes sense because if you're carrying it, your thumbs okay. will probably be on it. This will work. Now that's a shiny piece of metal. What's it do? I'm not even sure if it works. It's an EMP generator, Puddin. <laughs> Tell them what it does. It emits a pulse that knocks out other nearby electronic devices. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to try that? Couldn't we, in theory, just use that to unlock the door? <laughs> Probably has fail safe for that sort of thing, but. Here goes nothing. Even now, still finding ways to help me. Stay there. Don't touch anything. I touch what I want when I want, Brucey boy. You knew what's best for you. You'd quit giving orders and find me that key. I hope this has a way to open it from the inside or we could potentially be stuck in here. Looking for this. Tiffany. I told you I'd find out what you got my dad mixed up in. This, this is much worse than I thought. You're not safe here. You have to hide. What the hell are you doing with a secret room full of weapons? What's going on here, Bruce? What's all this for? Your father worked with Batman. That's who all this stuff is for. Batman. I know it. His tech. Dad's fingerprints are all over it. I came looking for answers, but... I didn't expect this. These people you're with. I saw on the cameras what they did to that guard. To Regina. They'll do the same to you or worse. Get out of sight. Bruce! What's taking so long in here, huh? Hey, I know you. We met at your father's funeral. John. Okay, Bruce. No need to get physical. I get it. We'll be as quiet as lab rats. What about Harley? I mean, she's gonna want to know about your, uh, friend here. What am I supposed to tell her? You don't have to say anything to her, John, okay? It can be our secret. In Arkham, I was well known for my discretion. All the guards confided in me. I don't like lying to Harley, but I'll do it for you, Bruce. What I really need is the phalanx key. Get me that, I can go out there and, you know, 
make Harley happy. You can have the key. Just leave Tiffany out of it, okay? You mean this thing? That's it? <laughs> You've got to be kidding, Bruce. You can't give these psychos anything from this lab. Hey now, no need to get personal. We're all on the same side, remember? Come on, Bruce. You know how dangerous this tech can be in the wrong hands. Please, Tiffany. I've been honest with you every step of the way. Now I need you to trust me. Please. I better not see this on the evening news. Oh, you're gonna. You're gonna. Thank you. This, this makes things so much better for everyone. Thank you, Tiffany. You made the right call. Harley will be over the moon when I show her this. Stay out of sight until we are long gone. Whatever. Bruce. You better know what you're doing. <laughs> Actually, I don't, but, um, <laughs> it's for the greater good, I think. It took you long enough. I was starting to think you got sucked into a portal to another dimension or something. Your boys did good, you know? Made Mama proud. I feel like that was a reference to something that I don't that know don't about. look like nothing special. You got what you wanted. Now let's just get out of here. <laughs> Load that thing up too, John. I need it. Hurry it up. Way to be obvious, Bruce. Good job. Good job. All right, I am going to stop there. Um, <sighs> like always, this game is very stressful. I never know if I'm making the right calls. I just kept reminding myself that Waller knows Bruce is Bats, and Waller told me to do what I needed to do to find out who that group is. And I hate the fact that I'm doing things that I don't like in order to do that, but I'm trying to think big picture here, and I need to get infiltrated into the group so that I can stop the group. And if Tiffany hates me for that, then that sucks, but unfortunately, it'll be worth it, I hope for the greater good. If she needs to hate me so that I can save her life, I can do that, I think. <laughs> I don't know if I was making any of the right choices, but I'm keeping my fingers crossed that I was doing the right thing. Even though it feels really, really bad. Really, really bad. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think in of my decisions in the comments below. Obviously, please no spoilers, but uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell button when you do so that you know when I post future videos. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I hope you have an amazing day.